Hi everyone, welcome to World Ocean Day for Schools. I'm so, so excited that you're here. My name is Carlo Lorenzo. I'm a marine biologist and today I will be your guide for the day. I can't wait to tell you about all the amazing things we have planned. But first things first, let me start by introducing myself. It all started when I was three years old. The ocean called my name like it did with Moana and I was spending all my free time exploring the woods and the seashore. Nature became my second school, my second home, and I became a marine biologist. I discovered a species that was considered extinct from Portugal and Spain. I traveled thousands and thousands of kilometers across Northern Africa to tell the world about the species that live there. But I've also seen a lot of rubbish. And plastic pollution is not the only problem the ocean is facing. There's one even bigger, climate change. As the ocean warms, some of the most incredible ecosystems on Earth risk disappearing forever. I'm talking about coral reefs. And if they disappear, thousands of species will follow. So now I'm working with hundreds of scientists all across the globe to make sure that doesn't happen. But I also need your help. Our mission at World Ocean Day for Schools is to help connect kids all around the world to their local blue spaces and inspire them to become ocean advocates. Did you know that all blue spaces like rivers, lakes and streams connect us to the ocean? So you can protect the ocean no matter where you live. This year, we've been inspired by the UN Ocean Decade. The UN Ocean Decade is a big global mission to help protect and better understand the ocean between now and 2030. To make that happen, scientists, leaders and ocean advocates from all around the world came up with 10 challenges. It's like a big blue to-do list to make us all work together towards a brighter future for the ocean. Let's check them out. Challenge number one, understand and beat marine pollution. Learn where pollution in the sea comes from and how it affects marine life and people. Explore ways to stop it and clean up our ocean. Challenge number two, protect and restore ecosystems and biodiversity. Learn how different pressures like pollution, overfishing and climate change affect ocean ecosystems. Explore ways to track these changes and come up with solutions to protect, manage, and restore the ocean and the variety of life it supports. Now, challenge three, sustainably feed the global population. Explore how the ocean can help feed people all over the globe in a way that's healthy for both people and the ocean. Come up with ideas and solutions to make sure that we use ocean resources sustainably, even as the ecosystem and society change. Challenge number four, Develop a sustainable, resilient and fair ocean economy. Find out how people can use the ocean for jobs, business and resources in ways that are fair, strong and good for the environment. Work on ideas and partnerships that can help build an ocean economy that can handle change and support everyone. Challenge number five, unlock ocean-based solutions to climate change. Learn how the ocean and climate are connected and explore ways the ocean can help us deal with climate change. Come up with ideas to help reduce its impact, help people adapt and improve how we predict things like the weather, sea level rise and storms, for instance. Now, challenge number six is to help communities prepare for ocean and coastal risks. Find out how things like storms, sea level rise and floods affect people living near the coast. Help design ways to warn and protect coastal communities before problems happen. Challenge number seven, improve how we watch and understand the ocean. Work on better tools and systems that collect information about the ocean so we can make better decisions and respond to changes more quickly. Challenge number eight is to build a digital version of the ocean. Help create an interactive online map or model that tells us how the ocean is, showing us what it looks like now, 
what it looked like in the past and what it might look like in the future so people everywhere can learn and explore. Challenge 9. Make ocean science and technology available to everyone. Make sure people from all places and backgrounds have the chance to learn about the ocean and use the tools and technology needed to take care of it. Now, last but not least, challenge 10. Reconnect people with the ocean. Make people feel connected to the ocean so they care about it and they take action to protect it, no matter where they live or what they do. Pretty amazing, right? 10 big challenges and we need all kinds of people with all kinds of ideas to solve them. As you're listening, did any of these challenges really stand out to you? Maybe one of them made you go like, wait, I want to do something about it. Keep that in mind because it will help you in the next activity. We have created a card game to help you explore these changes and discover how your unique skills can make a difference for the ocean. Let's find out more. The World Ocean Day for Schools team have created a card game that helps connect the issues our ocean is facing with action you can take in your own backyard. Because protecting the ocean means protecting all blue spaces everywhere. We're using the UN Ocean Decade challenges as a way to spark ideas and inspire local solutions. Let's learn how to play. First, pick a blue space card that matches the one closest to where you live. Then, choose which one of the 10 UN Ocean Decade challenges you'd like to work on. Now, we find out your mission. This combines your local blue space with your Ocean Decade challenge and gives you a scenario to solve. Then choose the skill you feel most aligned to and use that to help solve the mission. And finally, you'll be introduced to a good blue human who's working on your mission right now in a blue space just like yours. Good luck with your mission. We can't wait to hear which mission you chose and all your incredible ideas to solve it. Make sure you upload them to your school's profile in our blue map. And while you're there, make sure you take part in our blue experiments. There are six amazing activities all of them designed to help you feel more connected to your local blue space and become a good blue human. By taking part, you're joining a global team of young ocean advocates from every corner of the ocean. We have over 3,000 schools taking part in 105 countries. So now you are ready to take on the Ocean Decade Challenge dive into our blue experiment and make your mark on the map. You have everything you need to have an epic blue day. I'm sending you lots of love from Sunny Lisbon in Portugal and wishing you an amazing World Ocean Day. Bye! <laughs>